This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, sorry, I could not make video last week for WebDriver IO. So let's continue with WebDriver IO series. So in the previous video, I have told you that how to create a basic, a simple page object and how to use a simple dollar. Remember, you can create a web element with the help of dollar. So let's see if I'm doing dollar hash ID, it will return a search web element and then search dot set value. We can simply do that. You can use a span dot or whatever CSS selector also, you can simply use it. So dollar means it will return a single web element like label. And from this label, I want to do the get text or dot click or whatever you want to do that. Same thing, let's see, I have written input dot, okay, some class name with dollars so it will return one web element icon and icon dot click i'm going to click on this particular element so if you see their api documentation so dollar means as i told you command is short way to call the find element command okay in order to fetch a single web element on the page then we have double dollar double dollar is a short way to call the find elements method which is already available in selenium right Find element elements means whenever we have, uh, whenever you see that similar kind of elements are available, right? Number of, let's see, five checkboxes or 10 checkboxes are available or 10 different links are available or five uh, buttons are available like that. In that case, if you want to get the collection of all the elements, in that case, we have to use find elements, but in WebDriver IO, we have to use a double dollar. So how to use it? I'll show you. So for that, let's see, I'll pick this particular application that blazemeter.com. And here you see that uh, you inspect these guys. Okay, let's see the product. You see that this particular product is coming under the UL tag. Can you see that? That under this particular UL, then we have number of LIs are available. So this is LI1, LI2, LI3, 4, and 5, like that, right? You open this LI and you see that, okay, LI is having one A that is having product, okay? product text is available. So what I want in Selenium, if you want to do that, driver.find elements, I'll be using driver.find elements, by.xpath or by.css selector, ul li. I will collect all these li's and start the for loop and then simple get the dot get text method and then I'll print it on the console. Similar way we have to do it in WebDriver IO. So how to do that, right? So this is a use case. So for doing this what i'm going to do that first i'm going to create a page so let's create a page over here and let's see this time i'm going to create blaze uh, let's see blaze meter dot js okay and here what i'm going to do that i'm going to write a class over here so let's see i'm going to class uh, simple for base page class okay so i'm going to follow the page object model and here I simply write one get, get means a getter I'm going to write. And first what I'm going to do that, first I'm going to collect a parent tag. So how will you collect a parent tag? I simply say that, okay, hey, you return a dollar. Okay, dollar what? You return dollar with, let's see, ul with this particular class. So I'll quickly check that, okay, ul dot class name, it's giving you one of one, so ul, this particular class name it means just give me the first parent tag so how will you do that like this okay you simply return it so let's see this is the parent tag now from this particular parent you give me all the child tags so let's see get child elements so one more getter i'll be writing and then this time i'm writing let's see child element now i'll simply say that okay hey you return what from this particular parent tag. So I can simply write this dot parent. Okay. This dot parent dot now from this particular UL. Parent means from this particular UL. What do you want? I want to capture all these allies, right? I want to capture multiple elements. So in that case, what I'm going to do dot dollar dollar. It means give me find elements what for all the allies. Simple. Okay, and then I'll be creating one more method. Let's see, uh, get uh, uh, get 
text for li something like this whatever method you want to write okay so give me all the text for the li so how will you write it you simply write return this dot child elements dot okay child elements i mean i have to use this keyword this keyword dot child elements dot filter like this and what kind of filter so, so not double dot single dot element let's see i'll create one variable over here element in and then arrow function and then element i want to print console dot log element dot get text i'll be printing like that simple so i'll repeat so what i'm doing i simply saying that okay return this dot child elements dot filter filter okay is a method is already available which will be applied on this particular list in this on this particular collection so this child elements will return what it will return the collection of all the allies then you apply filter and then you create one element you can give any variable name over here you can give a b c d whatever the name you want to give you can give okay this is just like for each loop so i'm using simple a lambda function over here lambda and then lambda means the arrow function console dot log with the same element dot get text it means give me the text and then you return okay one by one from this particular list from this particular collection now i'm going to call this particular method in different class in a test class so what i'm going to do this is my test package you create a new file over here let's see i'm going to create blaze dot test dot js file in this particular file first of all that in in my home page out of the class i have to what i have to do export so i simply write module dot export is equal to new whatever okay the page class you return the page class object from here like this okay so you have to write it like this so that we can use okay we can use uh, this particular page class method in a different test class so this is my test class and here what we have to do the first statement guys what we have right we have to import okay just like in java we have to import so i how to import i simply write constant i create one blaze object blaze this object reference is equal to require that we have already discussed require what a require dot dot what from where from pages and blaze meter okay this particular uh, one second yeah blaze meter okay like that i'll be simple writing it like this okay so blaze page or uh, you do one thing you better you write let's see some different name i'll be giving because uh, blaze okay page uh, okay let's write constant like that okay so error is gone now what i'm going to do i simply write describe okay what do you want i simply write that uh, blaze page elements handle something like this whatever you want to give okay that's not a big deal and then you simply write function over here and then starting bracket and ending bracket and i'll be writing one it block over here it what do you want um simple capturing get a uh, text of all uh main links let's see these are the main links right links and then create a function callback function like this and then what do you want then with the help of this particular blaze page i can call i have already imported so i can call all the methods which are available over there so which method i'll be calling i'll be calling let's see i simply go to blaze page i'll be calling this particular method get text for li okay so i simply write dot get text for li i'll be writing but before that we have to launch the url so i'll be writing browser dot url method is there okay and then what is the url so url is this blazemeter.com will be the url 
like this right and then i simple call place page dot get text for li whatever the text is there okay so it will do the console dot <clears throat> you can see that console dot log and everything it will do that and let's see it is working or not okay so what i'm going to do that uh, this particular project this is my project right click on it and be and open in terminal and then i'm going to execute npm let me show you i simply write npm run test and let's see it is working or not so yes browser is getting launched blazemeter.com and it's done and you can see that my test case has got passed and it should print all the okay all the text for those links that we have captured so what was the first link product customer resources so you can see that product is there customers resources then we have request a demo and start testing now start testing now okay see we have captured all these things li product second li customers like that simple okay so like this simple you can do that so this is a one way simple ways right? so you can simple use it you can create one page object you can create one parent and which will return one single dollar single element and then you create one more function one more getter and which will return double dollar it means give me all the li's and from this particular ally you create one more function which will return all the text like this also you can simply use it okay now if you don't want to create parent and child like this you can create directly like this also so let's see i'm going to create one so let's see let's take some other example so we will scroll down and we will see that okay these are the use cases are available okay different uh, use cases are available and you see that okay this is the ul and this is a div tag right this is a div under this particular div one id is available so i'll copy this id and i simply say that okay div hash id okay which is representing this go to the ul so i'm going to write one css selector it means go to the ul and from this particular ul you go to li okay so we are getting one of 10 you can see that this is my first li this is my second li like this okay so what i'm going to do that i directly use this particular css selector over here and i'm going to create one get over here a get it means uh, uh, all the use cases whatever let's see this these are my use cases block okay get use cases elements method i'll be creating like this right and i simply write return what i want to return directly find elements over here and then we return the find elements for this particular css selector and that's it and then i'm going to do i'm going to create one more method over here that okay get and uh, okay simple use cases elements uh, text method i'll be creating one more get over here and then i simply write return this dot use cases elements dot filter okay so one second dot uh, filter and then i'll be writing one element over here whatever the reference variable you want to create i mean any variable you can pass it over here and then i'll simply write console dot log element dot get text method over here that's it the exact same thing right so instead of creating two methods parent and child like this you can directly create one single method having with double dollar or you can write the same logic over here as well no problem okay now I'm, i'll be calling this particular method so i'll go to my uh, test and this time what i'm going to do that with the same base page a dot okay i will be calling this method now use cases elements text so with this particular method we will be calling all these links i mean we will be getting all these links text and for the second we will be getting the text for all these guys so let's see it is working or not so let me clear the console and then let's write npm run test 
So here you can see that yes, browser is getting launched. And super fast, done. And then let's see, my test case got passed. And uh, yeah, so it will start from here, J, uh, Jmeter, Jenkins, Black Friday, mainframe testing. So you can see that, see, mainframe testing, Black Friday, all these links are getting printed. Load runner versus Blaze Meter, API monitoring, mock service, functional testing, performance testing, Jenkins EI. All these guys are getting printed properly. And the first link was Jmeter. Okay, Jmeter and then use cases. See, Jmeter and the use cases. Right, so I can see that all the links text are getting printed from there as well. And one pass because it's only one describe ad block. Like that. <laughs> you can get multiple ad blocks later on. Okay, so this is very simple, guys. And uh, always use okay the proper way of creating the page objects. Create, I would prefer that, okay, you better you write it like this. First, you create one single parent that you tomorrow you want to get only with parent. So you can interact with directly with this particular method. And then from this particular parent, use this dot parent. This means the current class object and X is all the properties of the current class. So this is parent is the property of this particular page. This dot parent dot double dollar. Double dollar means find number of elements. For what? For LA. So simple pass. The HTML tag you can pass, you can pass CSS, you can pass XPath, like that directly you can pass, right? And then finally create one method which will iterate the collection, iterate the list, and then print it on the console. That's it. Okay. So that's all for this particular video, guys. I hope you are guys are comfortable now with WebDriver, WebDriver IO, single dollar and double dollars, which is very, very important. Then only you can proceed further, guys. Okay. So keep watching Nabin Automation Labs. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section. And please share this particular video with, with your colleagues and friends if they really want to learn WebDriver. Thank you so much, guys.